Hi students. I'm going to take a few minutes to start going over the concept of stoichiometry with you. And I'm going to use sandwiches as an example to help you understand that cooking is a lot like equation writing or balanced equations in chemistry in the way that they are used for the recipe. So Stoichiometry is a fancy word, but really stoichion means element and metron means measure. So it has to do with measuring the elements in a balanced equation. The equation must always be balanced to do this, but once you have a balanced equation, you can use the coefficients in the equation as something called a mole ratio, and it will be acting as a recipe for your calculations. So when you're looking at stoichiometry, you need to know that the reason why it works is because one mole of any substance, any molecule or atom or formula, is always the same amount of particles. It is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, according to Avogadro, okay? So this mole, is the unit or the carton to hold molecules. And when we think about it that way, once we know the molecules, we'll know the moles. And that's why your balanced equation coefficients will act as a recipe of moles and molecules. Take for instance, the example of sandwiches. Two pieces of bread, one piece of cheese makes one sandwich. If you represented it in a balanced equation, it would look like this one. The bread and the cheese are the reactants. They are the things that need to be put together in order to make product. And you notice they happen to be on the left of the arrow. Reactants are always on the left. Products are always on the right. So what if you were given a task to find how many slices of bread you would need to make six grilled cheese sandwiches. Now you're probably telling me, Bowles, this is too easy. If I was making the sandwiches, I wouldn't need to do this calculation. Correct, you probably wouldn't. It's instinctive when it comes to sandwiches. But I wanna show you how it works also with chemical equations and not just sandwiches. So here's what you would do. You would take the given, the seven grilled cheese sandwiches, and multiply by a fraction, a ratio. The ratio is what we call a conversion factor and it's a mole ratio, two over one. Where did that come from? If you look at the equation up above here, the two came from the bread and the one came from how many sandwiches you make. Two over one are the coefficients from the balanced equation or the recipe. And then you notice what happens down here at the bottom. The sandwiches cancel, just like when we've done converting, and we end up with seven times two divided by one, 14 pieces of bread. Now the setup here will really help you when you transition into chemical equations. So here's a chemical equation. N2 plus three H2 makes or produces two NH3. Remember, N2 and H2 are the reactants, and NH3 is the product. It's already balanced, you might notice. Now, when you break it out and you try to write it as molecules, an N2 molecule, two blue nitrogen atoms bonded, and three H2 molecules, smaller gray hydrogen atoms bonded, notice I wrote one N2 molecule and three separate H2 molecules to represent the one and the three. On the other side, on the product side, you notice I have two separate molecules of N and three H's, NH3. This is a translation of what the equation looks like when you count up the atoms and write them in their molecule groups. Now, something you need to know going forward is that these coefficients, one, three, and two, will also be moles. Because earlier, remember, I said one mole is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. 
Since moles and molecules are always related in the same way, we can use these coefficients for moles and for molecules. So let's see how to pick out the ratio, these mole ratios I was talking about from the balanced equation. Each of these examples with a little box is asking you to write in the mole ratio of these relationships. So the first one on the left says, how many moles of H2 are possible to make how many moles of NH3? So what you merely do is go to the balanced equation and find the number in front of each. Three is in front of H2, and one, oh sorry, two is in front of NH3. So I write it three over two. And each of these is very similar. Notice from the ratios here that each of these comes from the balanced equation, and it is the coefficient in front of that formula that you're writing. This is what's called a mole ratio. This mole ratio is going to allow you to do a lot of converting with moles and finding moles of any other substance in the balanced equation. So that'll get us where we need to go for now. And next up is to start doing mole to mole problems.